Welcome to the video supplement for McGraw-Hill's medical simulation. Today, our scenario is my head feels full. Our patient, Mary Jo Schock, is 33 weeks pregnant and suffers from preeclampsia. The objective in this scenario is to detect high blood pressure in a preeclamptic patient. The goals for the simulation include your approach to a patient as well as the skill of taking a blood pressure. Along with the essential clinical skills, your instructors will be looking for the mandatory cleaning of your stethoscope, washing your hands, wearing your gloves, and demonstrating a proper introduction to your patient, including checking the patient name and birthday on the ID bracelet with that on the medical records. Now let's join our healthcare professional Rebecca and her student Holly as we learn how to take a blood pressure. Hi, my name is Rebecca, I'm an instructor, and this is Holly, she's a student, and we're going to take your blood pressure. At this point, you're going to try and use uplifting and positive words with the patient. We need to explain to the patient that we're taking her blood pressure, and then we need to determine which arm we're taking the blood pressure from. And the person should be sitting or lying comfortably, and once the cuff is secured, the arm should be raised to the person's heart level. And the next step is we'll actually be taking the blood pressure, and here's how you do it. The sleeve should be pushed up and place a diaphragm of the stethoscope, under the cuff over the brachial artery and the gauge should be placed so it is easily read. Put the earbuds of the stethoscope in. We cleaned them with alcohol already and you're going to put your two fingers over the radial artery and feel for the radial pulse. And you're going to take this bulb and turn this valve all the way to the right until it's tight. Pump it up to about 240. You're going to listen for the radial pulse to disappear and then you're going to pump it up a little bit more and then you're gonna let this valve loose, turn it to the left nice and slow and listen for the sounds. The first sound that you hear is the systolic blood pressure reading. And the last sound is the diastolic. And it's 200 over 110. Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Make those notations on your clipboard. And then you want to take off your gloves and wash your hands with the alcohol sanitizer. And the last thing you need to do is complete your student simulation worksheet. Okay, Holly, you ready to demonstrate how to take a blood pressure? Mm -hmm. We've already cleaned our hands and the earbuds and we have our gloves on. Okay. So we're going to put these on and we're going to place the blood pressure cuff onto the arm. Make sure the diaphragm is over the brachial artery. And I'm going to place these two fingers over the radial artery. Okay. And turn this valve all the way to the right. And as I pump it up, I'm going to feel for the um, pulse to disappear. Mm -hmm. And when it does, I'm going to pump it up a little further. Okay. I'm going to pump this up to about 220 or 240. And I'm going to turn the valve to the left slowly. And as I release the valve, I'll feel the pulse reappear. When I feel the pulse return, that's the systolic pressure. Good. And when the sound disappears, that's our diastolic pressure. Good. Now the blood pressure was 200 over 110, and I'm going to make a notation of that. Good. Once that's done, I'll remove my gloves. I will wash my hands using the gel and then complete my student simulation worksheet. Great job today, Holly. And that's how you take a blood pressure on a Lairdahl simulator. Thanks for watching and we look forward to your success in this demonstration. I'm Lauren Corbett with McGraw-Hills Medical Simulation Work Text.